This is Lesson 3 Homework from Module 3, Side 1. The objective today was to multiply and divide with familiar facts using a letter to represent the unknown. Number 1. A. Complete the pattern. When I look at the pattern, I notice 30, 60, and 90. In those numbers, they all have in common that they end in zeros. So my guess is that I might be counting by tens because tens end in zeros. So if I continue counting by tens from 30, I have 40, 50, 60. Right now, I know my guess was correct to count by tens, because I filled in two bubbles and I already reached 60. So con continuing to fill in the bubbles, I'm going to count by tens. 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Part B, find the value of the unknown. The first problem is done for you. 10 times 2 equals D where D equals 20. 3 times 10, I can use this fact here, equals E, E equals 30. F equals 4 times 10. Continuing with my pattern, F equals 40. P equals 5 times 10. P equals 50. 10 times 6 equals W. W equals 60. 10 times 7 equals N. N equals 70. G equals 8 times 10. G equals 80. Number 2. Each equation contains a letter representing the unknown. Find the value of the unknown. First, 8 divided by 2 equals n. I will count by 2's until I get to 8. 2, 4, 6, 8. N equals 4. Second, 3 times A equals 12. I'm missing a factor, so I'm going to count by 3's until I get to 12. 3, 6, 9, 12. A equals 4. Third, P times 8 equals 40. I can count by 8s until I get to 40, or I can do some guessing with what I could count by. I'm going to try first counting by 2s 8 times. So I have 8 fingers out, and I'm counting by 2s. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. That's 8 times. I'm not close to 40. That tells me that I didn't need to count by a larger number. So I'm going to try to count by 5s 8 times. Again, I have five fing or, excuse me, 8 fingers out. 10. Let's try that again. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Counting by fives, eight times, got me to 40. So P equals five. Fourth, 18 divided by six equals C. I'm gonna count by sixes until I get to 18. Six, 12, 18. C equals 3. 
when you're counting with me, make sure your fingers are out. D times 4 equals 24. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. D equals 6. Next, H divided by 7 equals 5. That means I'm finding the total. If I don't know the total, I can think about a multiplication problem. 7 times 5, H equals 35. 6 times 3 equals F. F equals 18. 32 divided by Y equals 4. Y equals 8.